Bill says we have several members reporting that they are not seeing new posts in Teams mobile client. They are able to see them on the desktop client, but they are not showing on the mobile client. Normally removing the client from the mobile device and reinstalling it fixes the problem. Boy, that's not a scalable solution. Not I'm sure you can imagine this workaround is not going over well with the members. Has anyone else noticed the issue? I like how he phrased that. So diplomatic, Bill. Um, yeah, good job. Yeah, so uh, well, it is teams thinking? after all. Yeah, it's, it is teams. Uh, Joy, I mean, what, when you see this kind of issue, because we've all experienced, what are your first thoughts? Um, my first thoughts are because he says several members, so it's not everyone, so it's not the team's mobile. Now, it could be that maybe some devices are having problems because they need to update. Uh, you know, maybe iPhone or Android, one or the other needs to run an update, that could be a problem. It sounds like this has been going on for a while though, so I got a feeling that's not yeah. it. My gut says to look at your mobile device management policies and see what's going on there. It could be a subset of these users may have a policy that's not quite right in common that needs to be addressed. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean the only other thing if there's if that's not happening, like if it if this if he came back and said, Hey, we're not doing MDM, like we are not centrally managing these, um, then you know, because that I that's where I would go first as well. Yeah. Um, my only other thought where I've seen this behavior is where there are teams updates that are being rolled out that are not mm -hmm. yet hitting now normally. We see things from a tenant by tenant so that if our three different companies here, the three of us, we're not going to see updates and changes at the same time. So I might experience behavior because my system is in the process, it's gotten half of the update and it's throwing off, causing weird, you know, behavior mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. teams before it's fully caught up. Um, but it, if this is an, an inconsistent issue that's happening uh, to you know, some of my users across the tenant, it's not a Teams update, but that's where I would go as well. Is that there's something about devices, and if there's any other unifying um, um, features of this, like is it all iPhones? Is it all Android? That's a way. Are they all in the of... same region? Are they all in the same department? It's the same like... model phone. There's just so many different things that could go into a yeah. circumstance like that. Are they all running the same version of Android and iOS? What else is the phone doing at the same time? Yeah. Is there, are they all the same type of user with the same permissions in there? Mm -hmm. Are they, I mean, An if organizational it's, unit. If it's, if everything we've just described, if it's different across all of those things, this is the answer that I hate to provide, oh. which is contact Microsoft support. Um, because usually there are, there are, you know, unifying features of the, the mm -hmm. problems of the, uh, around the user profiles, um, you know, the, yeah. the mobile device management things that are turned on somehow it's kinds of problems. They're, they're all the people who are external. Maybe they have F licenses, not E license types. I mean, there's something, a common denominator across them. And he says, we uninstall Teams, put it back, and that works forever or for a day. That's the next question I was going to ask. Yeah. Is it, does, it, does it fail again after you've done that? Is yeah. it always the same? Or, or is it always the same subset of phones that, that do this? You know, or does it right. roam around? It's rolling. It just, could, yeah. have, could have been a problem with an older version of the mobile device. It wasn't updating properly on that, or they've exactly. not kept it update. They didn't mm -hmm. auto update on those things. Um, again, things that you can look at if you, I mean, it's one for Microsoft products. One thing is on my mobile devices, I always ensure that I have the auto updates. I've got all of that turned on. Um, of course it's just like my, my tenants, just me, I'm not doing, uh, managed device features capabilities, but that's just to ensure that I don't have to manually go and do anything when a new version comes out, but that's an option. You can restrict yes. that. You can, um, but it's the Microsoft apps are pretty finicky when it comes to making sure latest and greatest is running. So that's definitely a great place to, 
to, to kind of poke around at too. Yeah. And then other and, things that affect that too, if there's other drivers that aren't, aren't teams related, which could also impact that. That's something, if you go and read the service notes for um, the, the version of the mobile, they even say like, hey, there's conflicts with different devices, drivers, things that are out there. It'll make that, make you aware of that. But yeah, yeah. this is a, uh, another one of those troubleshooting, like it could be a dozen different things. And so yeah. you need more data, go and look at the, common denom denominators between those users. And I, I would kind of say order, the order of operations I would take is find out if there are mobile device management policies in place. And from that step, start looking, whether it's yes or no, then start looking at the commonality between the users because yes, okay, who's in what policies that are having the problems? If no, what's common between the users that are having the problems? And is it a static group, like Hal said, the same group always, or is it a rolling issue? Okay. Questions like this make me feel like this, like we are standardized report. We're tier one support here. It's like, it's always frustrating when you call and support and they're going through all the questions and you're frustrated. Like I'm 20 steps beyond you. Like I know what I'm doing. And then they ask something, a fundamental thing. And you're like, oh, oh yeah, that, that. Darn it. Um, Microsoft support, all I needed to do was uh, to kick off a new crawl for a customer. This is probably four or five years ago. So modern SharePoint Online, but it's like, I can't just go do that, right? I've got to get my da, 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 da. And she starts asking me all these questions. And finally, she says, you, I could, how did she put it? Something like, you're very empowered. And I was like, this does not feel like a compliment. Because <laughs> I was like, nope, already done that. Nope, I just need you to do this. Nope, 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 just do this. Just do, and I was like, I have done this, do this. I just need this. I just need this. And she's like, you're very empowered. Yeah. I'm sorry we have to ask these questions. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bill, but yeah.